the last course. Yeah. Oh, the picture is coming. Oh, okay. Here okay. is the recording. <laughs> Hi, Patricia, how are you? <laughs> hey guys, good evening, how are you? Good evening. Everything good? Mm, not, not all good, teacher. Not all good, what happened? Because the, the platform is tricky again. The platform is tricky again? Don't worry, we're gonna go over the answers, okay? <laughs> please, so, please. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um so even if it's tricky right um we're gonna go over some of the we're gonna go over the answers okay yes please the listening the listening exercises are nice and and that's good but the others oh my god I'm, yeah, using, using the, I'm, the, I'm the, using the same uh, listening and uh, uh, listen. The listening is good. It's right. The listening is good. Yes. All right. All right. Right. Very good, guys. Very good. All right. Well, so aside from the platform, right? Uh, everything else in life. Yes, I, I have a trouble with the, the platform, but in, in the afternoon, um, help me, and and now I am uh, working in. All right, all right, that's great. All right, very good, guys. So, um, so let's get started. I'll pull out the presentation here. All right, so we have a couple of activities today, guys, so you can start working. Is it only me, guys, or the platform is taking a long time to load? I think it's taking a long time, so we'll wait for it to load. Anyways, guys, so we were talking about gerund phrases, right, and infinity phrases. So, um, so what's a gerund, guys? The gerund is our are formed with uh, like using them like adjective, objective, or a, I, I don't remember the other thing. <laughs> well, but... All right, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's used, right? Um, a gerund, actually a gerund is used as a noun, right? A uh, as, is a used noun. A noun. as a noun, I'm sorry. Right, so now the infinitives, right, can be used, the infinitive can be used as an adjective or um or after um or as a noun too right yes a noun right. and an objective and an adverb or an yeah. object right okay so so that's okay we know that right yes very good very good okay all right so we finally loaded Okay, guys, so let's work on some activities. Okay, so um, before we move on, okay, so let's go ahead and let me share the presentation here. All right. So we can, uh, so we know, right, that they work as a uh, subject of the sentence, as a, the object of the sentence, because they work as nouns, right? Or after prepositions. Again, after prepositions because they work as nouns, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, so you can say, guys. Okay, you can e you can even use uh, an infinitive or a gerund phrase. For example, you can say, "She loves to dance." Versus she, dancing is her favorite hobby, right? What is the difference between them both? Um, can somebody please help me read? She loves to dance. Dancing is her favorite. Well, but. <laughs> Maybe another 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 person can answer. No, I uh, can no. Actually, just just help me read. It's okay. She loves to dance. Is infinitive and dancing her in, is her favorite hobby. Is is gerund. 
All right, very good. No, but I mean this part right here. Can you help me read this part right here? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Infinitive phrases are more versatile and versatile. can act ver versatile. Versatile, versatile. Yes. Ah, versatile, sorry. Are more versatile and can act as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs, while germ gerund phrases always act as nouns. Good Example. Job. She loves to dance versus dancing is her favorite hobby. Good job. Thank you so much, Sandra. You're welcome. All right. So, okay, guys. So, she loves to dance versus dancing is her, her favorite hobby, right? So, now, the difference is that an uh, infinitive phrases can work as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs, but gerund phrases only work as nouns okay that is uh, the big difference between them both they will only work as nouns okay all right very good all right so so let's say guys we have this example right here so let's say we have okay let's let's get one from the Let's get one from the actual exercises that we have here, okay? All right. So according to the, the examples that we got from the platform, now that you know what a gerund is, right? One of the examples is, it's rude to ignore your conversation partner. So like this, right? It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. All right? So like this. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner, right? So where is the infinitive here? Where is the infinitive phrase here? It's rude to ignore. ignore. To ignore. To ignore, right? Very good. Okay. So this is guys often used to make a comment on a behavior. Okay. So, right. So it's often used to make a comment about a behavior or comment actually to comment a behavior all right so it's rude to ignore your conversation partner right you can say that you can say for example it's a good idea what well, what can we have with it's a good idea it's a good idea too so it's a good idea too Can I say it's a good to go idea to, to, go sorry, to go hiking, right? Hiking. It's a good idea to go hiking, yes. right? We can say it's a good idea to come to class. Am I right? Yes. To, to class early. To, to class early. What is to class early? To leave the to class go. early, you mean? Or to <laughs> come to class early? What do you mean? So it's a good idea to come to class early, right? I guess that's what you want to say, am I right? To eat healthy food. Okay, very good. So we can say, uh, you can also say something like, you know, it's considered a good idea to eat healthy food. Okay, good job. All right, so we can use these phrases, guys, right? It's rude to, it's a good idea to, right? So this is a phrase, right? To ignore, it's rude to ignore, it's a good idea too. So we have, it's a good idea too, it's a good idea too. It's considered a good, a good idea to eat. eat something, right? All right, um, okay, uh, we can say, it's impolite to, right? We have another phrase here. We have another infinitive phrase here. So it's impolite to, to what? Impolite to, ask, impolite to ask someone's age. To ask for someone. For someone's age, right? To ask for someone's age. 
Okay, very good. Okay, so see you guys. This is the reason why they're called phrases, right? Now we can also, um, we can all, can we use, can we use, um, can we use gerunds here? Yes. All right. Do me a favor, guys. Do me a favor. All right. I want you guys, we're going to try the activity number one. All right. And activity number one will be this. All right. I want you to get in couples. All right. And I want you to tell me. Okay. Hold on. Let me put it here. Right. So I want you to get in couples, guys. And I want you to um, talk about things that you consider impolite. Okay. All right. So let's get in couples, guys. I'm going to open the breakout sessions. And you're gonna about, talk about things that you consider impolite, okay? For instance, I think I think that could be considered impolite is uh, um, well when you when you go to a park and you let your dog uh like uh do the do their necessities mm -hmm. um it is wrong if you let them let that um yeah better another example um uh, let me see um when you drop your trash um when you're in the road and you drop your trash your uh, the garbage um and in the, the street I think it's considered impolite. Mm -hmm. It is impolite yeah. to drop things on the street. Yes. Oh, yes. Or when people does, uh, do it from the bus. <laughs> Some people are, are throwing uh, trash from the, from the bus window. Um, Another example, maybe it's it's impolite when you are driving, um, <laughs> and there is someone that is is asking you for permission to pass, um, with the light, with the hand, with whatever, <laughs> and the other person doesn't. It's impolite to be late in the, in some meet in some. Uh, great, great, great. Is so good. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, uh, is it considered impolite to be late in some meat? Some, some meat, yes. 
It's, it's considered impolite can you when hear people me? don't yes. say when people don't say thank you or yes when you receive something and you don't say yeah, thank you yes thank it's you for <laughs> Is considered um, in a pol in polite to don't uh, give a uh, the seat when you went no when you go no when the bus when you when you go in the bus in the bus is some people is older than you you need to give the the seat the seat uh -huh. it's polite yes uh -huh. seat. it's considered impolite when when the people eat with the speak with the yes. mouth yes. with 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 it when yes. eat with the in this with it in a speak and at the same time at the same time yes it's in a polite Yes. Uh, how do you say impolite or inapolite? Impolite. 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 Yes. Ah, um, uh, hmm? We are polite. <laughs> we don't know. What is in impolite? The, the, the polite is is good. When the people is polite, it's yes, good. Polite. Impolite is yes, it's, it's, it's not good. It's bad, yes. All right. Oh, maybe. when you receive a Okay. Continue, huh? continue, girls. Continue, continue. When you receive some visit in your house, and it's it's time to eat the lunch or the breakfast, you is in a, impolite to don't invite invite to eat the breakfast or the lunch. It's, <laughs> it's impolite to visit at at the people in, yes. in when oh. when the people eat and the lunch and the. And the is driving the car i mean yeah um it is it is time for you like to rest to, to just um yeah to just go with them yes it's very it's very annoying and and it happens <laughs> it happens a lot of times with my dad and wow i think so it is you're, you're it, always it is afraid of... and dangerous <laughs> <laughs> you're always afraid of um falling asleep when your dad is is driving, right? Yes, <laughs> it's impossible to, to sleep with, with him. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing is 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 this here. case when is this case when yeah. when I'm um driving and he starts to to annoy, for example, um how how do you say uh como como Mm -hmm. Coscorrón, digamos, o cosas así. Mm, Arme, Arme la wakey. cabeza o, por cualquier cosa. Ah, yes. Smacks your head or. Yeah. Ah, or yes. Oh, bops your head. Uh -huh. bops your but head. with no reason for it. Maybe I'm, I'm doing it well but and I'm. That's I dangerous feel because you are driving in that moment and then you can lose control. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> uh, I think he, he doesn't care or something like that. Oh, no, wow, man. no way. That's... Okay. All right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Continue, guys. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Continue, girls. Continue. Uh, so Sentences about uh, the things that you consider impolite. Uh, 
We have examples. Um, it's impolite to use the phone in the theater. Yes. The teacher's yes. class. It's impolite. <laughs> good evening. Hey, good evening. Good evening. I didn't, I didn't get it, teacher. <laughs> I think you said that it's impolite to use your cell phone in the teacher. In the, in the, 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 in the no, theater. In the theater. Oh, theater. Okay, all right, got yes. it. I got or it. Or in the cinema, we, we are talking theater. about the, the two places. Got it. Got it. Don't worry. Rafa, Rafa uh, sorry, teacher. I, I don't. Um, Rafael, <laughs> read some another example that we work Another with. example. It's impolite to, to come late at the meeting. So, uh, so, so that would be, it's impolite to come late to that meeting. To that, that meeting. Yes, to the meeting, meeting, right? The, the preposition okay. should be to, because at, we've been correct in this case, okay? To the meeting. Okay. Okay. It's, it's impolite it's, to arrive without, without an invitation. All right. An, uh, another, another is, it's impolite to send a short text, a many message, in WhatsApp, I don't know if if you understand me, understand me. Yes, yes. So yes. it's impolite to send a short message on uh, to <clears throat> WhatsApp. Yes. When the people write hello, send. Uh, how are you? Send. Uh, I want to know <laughs> you. Send. And <laughs> is that is that impolite? <laughs> yes, I think that is. Uh, it's impolite with capital letter. Yeah, that is rude. <laughs> You're right about that. That that's impolite. Yeah, like typing right with uh, writing with capital letters is like you're screaming. Yes. Yeah. Like you're yelling, right? It's impolite to eat with eating with hands or eat with hands. Uh, uh, Rafael and I, we we are talking about what is the correct uh, form, eat or eating. Now, it's impolite to eat with your hands. To eat, eat. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. You are right, uh, Rafael. Yes. Uh, All right. It's impolite to, uh, to be loudly, loudly when we eat. It's hey, well, hello, guys and girls. How's that Hi. practice going? Well, really good, I guess. Really good. All right, all right. We're gonna go back now, okay? Okay, all nice. Right. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Hey guys, welcome. I will um, give us a couple of seconds so everybody else can join back again. All right, there we go. The hey. family is back. Good evening, yes, teacher. Yes, who's back? Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, guys. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, how do you feel about the topic of uh, infinitive? phrases so far so far so good clear as yeah caña rica <laughs> like horchata like, oh no horchata is bad man maybe horchata with one percent horchata and 99 percent <laughs> alcohol right maybe that clear yes we can yes. still live with it okay <laughs> all right anyways guys so um all right 
So you noticed, right? So you noticed that we were using some of the examples that we had in that platform, correct? All right, um, so let me hear some of your examples, guys. What is something that you consider impolite? Uh, me. Go it's ahead. In, okay, it's impolite to ask personal questions, for example, in your first meeting. To, to ask for, hold on, guys, I'm going to mute. All right, very good. I'm sorry, could, could you please say that again? Okay, it's impolite to ask personal questions in your first meeting. Okay, very good. So in, in your first meeting, like like meeting you go- someone. No, someone. that's, that's okay. You mean a date on the first date? Uh, or you're like on your first- Yeah, oh, yeah. a date. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. On the on the first date, okay, all right, very good. Well, you can say in the on the the first time you meet someone, okay, that would be better because when you say meeting like that, it sounds like you know you're get you're 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 gathering with more people, right? So okay, all right, but that is good. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Evelyn. So what else, guys? Right? Anybody else? What's something else? What else is impolite, guys, to you? You ask that age of ladies. To what? I'm sorry. Ask a uh, age, ladies. Okay, so that that would be that would be a phrase over, which is ask for. Ask a, for. Uh, all right, ask for ask for a girl's or a woman's age. age. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that impolite, girls? Do you think that that's impolite? Uh, me teacher, uh, I it's impolite to write in capital letters. All right. It's impolite to write in capital letters. Right. In capital letters. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Very good. What else, guys? What else is impolite? It is impolite to interrupt someone when he or she is talking. All right. Okay. That is correct. Okay. All right. Anybody else, guys? You tell me. All right. Go ahead. I try to speak. I consider it impolite to visit someone tonight. Okay, I it's impolite to visit someone tonight or too late, you mean? Too late. Too late at night? So that would be too late at night. Too late. Yes, too late. Too late. At midnight, okay? <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Very good, okay? All right, so good job, guys. From the teacher, uh, it's impolite when a person uh, uh, pass in, in between two persons without saying nothing. Without saying nothing, okay. Without, I mean, in between between two people because, without saying nothing. Yes, in because, the middle of two people. Yeah, in the middle, because the if the person says, "Excuse me." I think that person can pass. All but right. if, if the people don't say nothing, uh, is okay. If if people don't say enough, don't don't say anything. That's impolite, right? By the way, right? You say if people, right? Because when you say if the people, you're referring to a specific group of people. Okay. In this case, we're not talking about a specific group of people. People. We're talking about people in general, right? By the way, guys, that's something that's a that's a mistake that that most Spanish speakers make, which is adding the uh, the article, the definite article, the for everything, right? Because that's how we speak in Spanish. If it is general, guys, think about the world. If you're talking about the world, you don't need an article, right? If you're talking about if you're able to point at something, most of the times, right? That would be you can say that. So you can say that people. That means that you're talking about the people over there, right? Oh, the music is nice. I'm talking about the people that I'm listening to in my background, for example, right? But I say, if music, if I talk about music in general, you don't need to do that, okay? All right, so real quick, guys, okay? So now, we're gonna do another exercise, but before that, guys, all right? So I wanna, I wanna, I heard this example. It's, um, it's uh, impolite, right, to, to write in capital 
capital letters, right? Right? So, okay, I like this example, but now we're using an infinitive phrase, right? To write, right? So let's use this phrase, guys, but I want you, I want you to transform it, right? How could we, guys, is it possible for us to do this, to use this as, as a gerund? Can we, can we do, can we portray mm -hmm. the same idea using a gerund, yes or not? What do you think? Yes, yes right, sir, writing, writing, writing in capital letter is simple. Right. Very mm -hmm. good, guys. So writing in capital letters okay. is impolite, okay? All right. Fun fact, guys, is that we might as well do this. You can say to write in capital letters is impolite, right? Could we do this too? Is this correct? Yes. Yes, that, yes. Is, that is correct too, right? So it's impolite to write in capital letters. We're using it as an infinitive that is working as the subject of the sentence, right? Right. Now, writing in capital letters, right? This is a gerund which is working as the subject, okay? And this is working as the subject of, as the subject now, now, right? Now, here, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. In the first example, right? Remember that infinitives can be used as three things: as adverbs, as adjectives. And as nouns, right? In this case, guys, what is it being used as? To write, what is it being used as? Like adjective. Now, remember, you have to ask yourself, what is this word modifying, right? Is it modifying impolite? Impolite. Okay, and impolite, it's considered an adjective, right? So this is working uh, as an adverb. As an adverb. Yes, exactly. Right. Okay, so this in this case, guys, it's working as an adverb. Here is working. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's working as the subject, right? So, <laughs> so uh, let's have more examples. Okay, so now let's use right. Let's let's turn more of your examples into gerunds. Okay, gerund phrases. All right. What else do we have, guys? Uh, Nicole, could you please share the example that you got for us? The infinitive example, one of your examples. Sure. To check your phone while having a conversation, it's impolite. Very good. To check your phone, right, uh, while having a conversation is considered impolite. All right. Great job. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So, how do we turn this into a gerund phrase? So how would we how would we do that? Checking. Checking, checking right? Checking your phone. Checking your phone while having a conversation is considered impolite. Great job. <clears throat> checking your phone while having a conversation is considered impolite, right? Good job. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Very good. Uh, let's see, Julia, Patricia, would you please be so kind to share your example with us? Julia? Am I, am I muted, guys? No? Hello? No, I'm not muted. All right, let's let's... Go with Jenny. Jenny Lisette, do you have one of your examples? Hello, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, uh, all right Jenny, Jenny Lisette. I think it's, you're muted. It's, it's impolite when people don't say thank you. Is it, all right, repeat, thank you. Thank you. No, th th like, like when you say zapato, right? Thank you. Kind thank of. you. Thank, thank you. you, right? Very good. So it's impolite when people say 
thank you, right? Thank you. Okay. All right, I say, say, thank you. When, when they say thank you, all right, so how, I right, so. Um, it's impolite when people, when people not say what, no dicen, right? Well, yeah, when people, when people don't say thank you, right? Don't say thank you. Don't say Very good. All right, very good. Okay, so okay, so how would we turn this into a turn? It's impolite not to say thank you. Thank you. Well, we could say it's impolite not to say thank you. Okay, All right. And how would we turn this into a gerund phrase? Not saying thank you. Not saying thank you. Not saying thank you. Not not. Say. You guys not. No, not. No, it's not not. It's not. not. It's, okay. like, it's 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 not. called guys at doctors and I ah uh, not. not not right not saying not. thank you thank you right not saying thank you mm -hmm. right is impolite okay very good job guys okay good job all right guys so what I want you to do. All right, is that I want you to let's 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 work on, on an example that we got from the platform here. Okay, so I want you guys to just do this do this in your notebook. Okay, you can you can simply write down the number and say if it is positive or negative, right? Positive or negative, okay? So I'm gonna ask you, okay. So real quick, guys, all right, this should take you long. Um, I'm gonna give you three minutes. All right, three minutes so you can uh, tag these these uh, words here, guys, these phrases, all right? So you can tag them as positive or negatives, okay? Or neutral, maybe it's a neutral opinion. So what do you think? So what is appropriate, right? So for example, a compliment, uh, would that be something positive or something negative, right? Positive. So just, okay. All right, so just a quick, some quick vocabulary, guys, okay. right? Let's let's complete that real quick. It's positive. Whatever, whatever you consider it to be, right? Let's just tag it as positive or negative, okay? All right, let's go, guys. All right, so one more minute, guys, and let's see. Let's see what we got.
All right, very good, guys. So, um, so a compliment, positive or negative, positive, negative, or neutral? Positive, positive. All right, so that would be positive, right? Very good. Positive. <laughs> I'm using a mouse, guys, so excuse my hand, my, excuse my handwriting. All right, so uh, yeah, that'll be positive, right? Uh, an insult. Negative. 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 All right, that would be negative. Uh, appropriate. Positive. 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 Okay. Uh, bad form. Negative. 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 Inappropriate. Negative. 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 Normal. Neutral. 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 New, 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 neutral. 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 Okay. So neutral is represented like, like this, right? Neutral. Okay. Very good. Uh, <laughs> offensive. Negative. 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 <laughs> yes. Um, polite. Positive. 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 All right. So this is positive. All right. Uh, rude. Negative. 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 All right. So rude would be negative, right? Very good. Hold on, guys. Let me check something here. All right. Anyways. So, yes. Okay. So that would be negative. Okay. Then we have. Strange. What about strange? Neutral. 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 All right. That would be neutral, right? Uh, typical. Neutral. 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 All right. Unusual. Neutral. 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 All right. So that would be neutral too, right? So what can we do with this vocabulary? Okay. So this is vocabulary, guys, that you can use as starters uh, to use as you know, in the uh, gerund or infinitive phrases, right? So you can say, it's an insult to, it's an insult to, to call yeah. Mrs. to call Mrs. to a miss. To, to count what, I'm sorry? To call mistress to a miss. To count mistress? Uh-huh, to a miss. That? To Llamar señora a una señorita. <laughs> oh, to call, to call, okay, to call Miss, Mrs., right? Uh-huh, Mrs. Right. Uh -huh. To a Miss, okay? Mm -hmm. It's an insult yeah. to call, to call Mistress. Um, that, that shouldn't have this, Mistress and Miss, okay? It's an insult to call Mistress and Miss, right? Yeah. This is the right version, right? Very good. All right, that is correct, right? So, guys, you can use this, right, uh, to initiate your... Uh, infinite phrases. Uh, we can you oh, we can also say this as uh, we can also use them as gerunds, right? So you can say calling, right? Calling someone a ma'am um, while being a miss, right? Is an insult. Okay, so if you want to turn it around, this is the way that you would do this, right? <laughs> so, anyways, you can you can use any of, of the uh, any of the pieces of vocabulary that we have here to build sentences like this. Okay, so I want you to take this vocabulary, guys, and I want you to come up with phrases. I want you to just have a conversation, okay? And I want you to talk to your partner, all right? Talk to your classmate. And I want you to tell them something that is actually maybe a compliment to you, maybe an insult, maybe appropriate, right? So, for example, I could say, um, having my students, like me personally, right? I could say, having my students on time every day is a compliment for me, <laughs> right? Right, that is a compliment for me, right? Laughing. Okay, I could say, hmm. Students not coming, right, or not having. Um, hold on, let me use one or the other. It's a uh, you you can say. Um, not having my students come to class every day is an insult to me. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. All right. Or you can say I I um. I don't know chewing. Chewing gum during I don't I don't care about that. It's an example, okay? I don't care about that. You can chew gum if you want, but you can say right, chewing gum during class 
it's because it's, it's offensive to me, right? I could say that, right, as an example. Okay, so I want you guys to come up with your own ideas, but this time around, you're gonna start with gerunds, okay? Now, obviously, guys, if I want you to talk naturally, I don't want you to say like, like just phrases like that, okay? Like, uh, coming to class every day is offensive, not saying hi to the teacher every day is offensive. Not, I don't want you to say phrases like that, okay? Just have a normal conversation. You know what? You can say, you know what? The other day I was walking down the street when, when, when I ran into my best friend and I was like, you know, I said hi and he didn't say it back to me. Not saying hi to your best friend is considered rude, you know? Got it? Okay, so that would be more into, that would be, uh, that would be leaning towards being a more normal conversation in this case, right? So that's what we're going to be uh, doing right now, okay? Do we have any questions on what we're going to do? The instructions are here. Here, hold on. This right here. Okay. So, right, talk about things you consider a compliment, an insult, or unusual, or any of the other phrases that you saw before. Okay. And that's what you are going to be talking about with your friend. Like, for example, running is considered to be unusual. And then you can say it to me, right? Like, if you're going to give your personal take on it, okay? All right, so let's go, guys. That's going to be our final activity, and then I am going to help you with the platform, okay? Okay. So we're gonna go over the platform today, all right? So let's go, ladies and gentlemen from the Flat Universe. Give me one second. All right, hold on. Recreate 11 rooms. Okay, very good. Let's go, guys. Hello. Right, welcome back, guys. Hello. Let's start working again, okay? Uh, just one question. Uh, Tell me. This is the advanced class, right? Yeah, this is the advanced class, yes. Okay, okay, okay. What happened? Thanks. No, I just, just wondering. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah. It okay. is advanced, yes. Thanks. Uh, smoking a... Uh, smoking a... Uh, and uh, it's, in, it's good to chew. Smoking a cigarette is what? I'm sorry. Yeah, you can say smoking a cigarette. You can say smoking when a cigarette. Smoking a cigarette when you speak. It's a... What? I'm sorry. Go when ahead. When you speak, it's a it's inappropriate. Inappropriate. Okay. When it's right, the, 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 the sentence? Is the sentence right? Um, yeah. You can, no, it is, it is inappropriate to speak. Or it's just that you, if you say when you speak, when you speak is inappropriate, you can, yeah, you can say that. Smoking. But, yeah. All right. Smoking is, smoking when you speak like that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So smoking while you speak. Is inappropriate. Is it ah, got it. Yes. Okay. Eugene, another okay. example. Speaking, speaking louder is considered uh, true. Yeah. Typical. Yeah. Um. Ah, <clears throat> uh, shouting, shouting. Uh, it sounds. Right, shooting, gritar. Okay, shouting, shooting, shouting, shouting. Starting, shouting. Right, so starting, so, so you can say yelling, right? Yelling, yelling, yeah, yeah, yelling. Yelling right. that would be more you, appropriate. When you speak, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's inappropriate. Okay. You, Jenny. Uh, interrupting. To the teacher in class is considered uh, uh, consider, um, offensive. 
to to what is offensive? I'm sorry. <laughs> Interrupting when the 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 teacher say the class, explain the class. Interrupting. 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 No, interrupting. Interrupting. No, interrupting. Interrupting. Yes, there you go, Jenny. Yes. Uh, it's, it is unusual waking up so late every day, I think. All right. Uh, what is it? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it, it is uh, unusual, unusual waking up. Unusual, unusual. Unusual. All right. Waking, waking. Waking up so late during the week. All right, very good. All right, it's unusual to wake up late or very late during the week, right? Okay. Painting, painting the landscape is considered to do to work for me. Okay. Staying staying awake every day is normal for me. All right. I'm going to check in the other guys, guys. Okay. You continue practice.